G5. Go outside? What? That's dangerous. I don't know what he's for, uh, saying there. Uh, in any case, yeah, they do need to regroup. And Jankos, you actually came uh, on the desk and said, well, they should pick a team fight comp. And that is exactly what they did, the Prophet. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. pretty easy, I guess. Uh, so how <laughs> do you think they why, executed it in the end? Oh, I think they kind of destroyed the lanes, so there was not uh, a lot of team fights left, but they played it pretty well, I think. Also, Sejuani into Gragas is pretty good in terms of team fights as well. So overall, I think they played Tell it so well. I mean, so basically, <coughs> Gragas or sales every jungler in the game right now, maybe except for Sejuani, but uh, still a little bit. So what happens? You want to uh, is like you just want to farm up a bit early game. And then uh, Gragas still kind of destroys you early game, but at some point you became even. And then in team fight you can do more if you play it correctly. Obviously Gragas e flash is kind of OP, but except for it, your ult uh, is better on on Sejuani side. So it's probably like if you want team fight comp and the enemy picks Gragas, if you still want to scale them, if you want team comp, you just have to go for Sejuani unless it's not Udir, which is nerf dispatch. So. And what a jungle item do you prefer? Just for everyone at home, if you want to play uh, Sijuani, 6.5, which is the pack we're playing on now, and then of course 6.6. .6. I mean, for 6.5, it was obviously uh, the AP item. And right now in 6.6, .6, which is the solo queue patch for you guys, um, I still would go for the AP item. Just because it gives you, like, you can just one-shot the camps. Uh, you can farm so fast. The movement speed is pretty OP. And then the Cinder Hug just doesn't provide you that much lately. I mean, you farm so slow, and then you are a bit more tanky, but you have less damage. I just basically go AP on every champ, even if it's tank right now, so... Okay, noted. Uh, Mithy, you were looking at the top lane matchup uh, a bit in this one. I do believe it was you, or maybe it was the Fischer. 2v2 two two matchup top lane or two on two top. 2v2 two matchup. Two two matchup. Two yeah, two. yeah um, it w it's kind of a 50-50 matchup. I think it's a skill matchup. The Brown Kalista have to play very careful, because if they screw up, they can get really punished by Thresh Lucian, but... Um, in general, I think the Brown Kalista, so Giants just played the matchup not well enough. They took too much, too many bad trades, tried to force too hard with the GP ult, and it just didn't work out for them at all. What do you think about uh, Thresh as a support? Because we've seen some support players who stop playing it, and some still pick it almost every game. I kind of just stop playing it. I, <clears throat> I mean, I, I do play it sometimes, but I'm not like a one-trick pony anymore. I really like kind of just stop losing the the thing I had for Thresh. I, it, I just feel like he's a jack of all trades, but a master of none. I feel like sometimes he is good, but he's not good enough. And he's never useless, but very close to useless sometimes. And I just don't really like it. I think you have to be really, really, really good at it, like maybe Kazing, for it to make it work. Do you think in uh, this scenario it has something to do with uh, promotion tournament or a lot of stress? just going for something that you think you'll do good on as opposed to something that will work perfectly in the meta. I know we saw Velkas as well. Uh, I think, I mean, a lot of it is probably comfort picks when you sit in these tight games where you have to win. But in this game as well, it was very easy, I feel, for Splice in the pick and ban phase because they're on blue side now. It's just like first pick Poppy. And obviously the Fjord was already banned away. So Smitty J doesn't seem to have really an answer because he tried to go GP, which is a fine matchup into Poppy, but he didn't play it very well. Lost lane, died twice, I think. He one screwed up hard. Yeah, he messed up like big. He was recalling at like level four or five next to a bush, probably shopping at the same time. So he didn't even flash when he actually ended up dying. And those kind of mistakes, they will tilt you completely and you can't make those mistakes. Especially in such a high pressure game. That, that's, that's, that's what I was talking about earlier, about having good mental strength. He, he really needs to pick it, pick it up for next game. I guess he's not experienced enough yet, but I think with some experience he will be good. And also I think just Poppy outscales him so hard after the first kill. Yeah. And the second kill looked so great as well. <laughs> but he threw the shield, you know, oh. it came back to him. Oh. Got there. Got there. Got got there. Yeah. Got it was a good team fight comp. Yeah. And Splice are blue side again now for next game. So technically they can aim for somewhat the same. The bans for Giants were Nidalee, Sivir and Fiora. Nidalee, Sivir will most likely be bans again because they are so high tier picks right now and Giants haven't showed they play the Sivir. Mm -hmm. The last one, Fiora, is where I guess you can debate, do you want to maybe ban Poppy, give over Fiora, do you want to ban something else there? It's a tricky one for Giants because it's probably going to be teamfight comp versus teamfight comp again. Yep, we uh, will take a quick break, although you have something. I, mean, I was thinking that maybe Giants should just play open cards and just open every OP pick and then maybe they can trade some, you know? But that's a little bit, like, that's super ballsy, so I'm not sure about that. Well, it's a hard, it's a hard call. Two two. Yeah, two two, and just go all in, you know. Yeah. With balls. Go ham. 
Cool. Well, I hope that happens. Uh, it's my it's so important game to lose. Yeah. Like to lose like that. Pretty glad these guys are not my coaches. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Let's go all in. Could maybe <laughs> try that. I'm not really too I sure. I would go. I would go for comfort picks and try and ban out whatever disrupts my comfort picks and just try my best. Try the best. The, the best jump I got. You know, just give it my best, even if the comp doesn't really fit together or anything and just give it my best for the last game I, I might be playing in the LCS. The SOAS strategy. Oh. In any case, we're going to take <laughs> a quick break. It's all come down to a single game to decide the series between Splice and Giants. Stay right there. The final fight is coming your way in just a few minutes. Fade Skull hustling in, but he has to go right on back and he's down. Copy gets the kill credit and a pair of teleports after the fact. Or the flank here, like Wonderware coming in. Yeah, Smitty is down. Wonderware gets the oh. knockup and Hustlin is down. In comes Trashy again. They look for Smitty. The double kill for Sentcox. And all of a sudden, Giants back into their own base. Emperor's Divide, but Peppy's caught. Goes in and that's the ace. Nisbeth with another massive Mad Life hook. And the Nexus will fall. 24 minutes and Splice are back on the board.